Now that you've created your own custom presets, we're going to take everything up a level by adding some effects to the mix. In Ableton Live, click on the Audio Effects tab, and you'll see in the browser, it's going to open up all of the available effects to you. Now, especially when you start out with music production, you probably won't have that much money to spend on all of the cool audio effects you might see online, but the Ableton Live stock plugins are very, very good, and they will help you create a custom sound very easily. All you have to do is make sure to learn how to use them. And the best way to do that is by checking out the Ableton manual. So let's just go there real quick right now. If you scroll down to 22, click on that, Live Audio Effect Reference, you will find all of the audio effects listed right here. The manual really does offer really insightful information as to what you can do with each of the audio effects. So I definitely recommend reading through this part of the manual at least for the effects that you're interested in to get you started. And like I said, Ableton offers a whole bunch of different things. Now, I'm not quite sure what you will find in your Ableton Lite version, if you have that, or standard. But, you know, you've got all different kinds of delays. We've got this delay right here. Then there is the echo delay. And there's a, a grain delay. Whoops, grain delay. We've got all different types of compressors. That compressor, the glue compressor, this one. Drum bus, which is a sort of combination effect for creating cool drum sounds. All different types of stuff, but pretty much everything you need to get started. Like there's a bunch of EQs and that kind of thing. So let's take a look at what we can add to our preset. I'm going to take this drum bus right here because it's got a nice bunch of things that are as relevant for drums. Just drop that on here. So let me just switch it off. just to hear the sound without it. And I'm going to switch it on. That sounds cool. And as you can see, let me just demonstrate this for you real quick. If you remember when we were on the impulse, I showed you there's the on and off switch here. This is to load in various presets and this is to save presets. And we have the same icons here on all of the effects, at least of the Ableton Live stock effects. You'll have the on off switch here. This is the preset hot swap button and the save preset button. So like I said, I, I can't really get into all of the different effects and how they all work in this course, but I'm just going to mess around with the sound and uh, see if I can find something that inspires me. Wow, that's boom me. Take the transients out again. Okay, that's kind of cool. I think I'm also going to add a delay. So let me put this in here. Turn the dry wet signal down. That's cool. So as you can see, I can just drag and drop effects onto my track right here and combine them in all different types of ways. Also keep in mind that the order in which you have these effects will have a, an effect on the sound. So if I have the drum bus after the delay, it's going to sound different than if I have it before the delay. And you'll also find that, especially with stuff like reverbs and compressors, that will make a huge difference in how the sound sounds. All right, so the challenge right now for this tutorial is I want you to take your preset and start experimenting with the Ableton Stock audio effects that are available to you with your version and find a combination that really inspires you 
for the track that we're about to create. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you a really quick tip how to take your instrument with all of its effects and save the entire thing as a preset. Thank you.